Welcome to an introduction to Lit Protocol. In this lesson, we'll explore the power of Lit and how it can be used for encryption and programmatic signing. Let's dive in. At its core, Lit aims to decentralize public key cryptography, the technology that underpins security infrastructure on the web. With Lit, we can say goodbye to centralized key custodians and embrace a decentralized future to help unlock usability in Web3. Encryption is the process of encoding information to keep it hidden from unauthorized parties. LID enables client-side encryption and decryption, allowing you to set on or off-chain conditions without re relying on a centralized key custodian. LID's decentralized access control feature is interoperable with various chains like EVM, Solana, and Cosmos. With LID, you can use on-chain access control conditions to perform four types of actions. One, encrypt and lock content such as images, videos, and music behind on-chain conditions like ownership of an NFT. Two, decrypt content that was locked behind on-chain conditions with that decryption key being whether or not you hold that NFT or other on-chain conditions. Three, authorize network signatures that provide access to content or resources. Four, request a network signed JSON web token for access and authorization to content behind on-chain conditions. LIT goes beyond encryption with its programmatic signing capabilities. It allows you to program complex signing automations using programmable key pairs, or PKPs, and LIT actions. PKPs are multi-party computation wallets distributed across the LIT network. So what's distributed is that um, private public key. So across the network, which you will learn in the next lesson here on the next page, um, while well, lit actions are JavaScript functions that, that define when, why, and what a PKP signs. Imagine smart contracts having their own public and private key pairs, just like any other wallet. These smart contracts, known as lit actions, can make arbitrary HTTP requests and use off-chain data in their computations. They can write and read from any HTTP endpoint, blockchain state machine, or storage system expanding the possibilities of decentralized applications. The private public key pairs are the programmable key pairs, and you'll be able to write conditions with lit actions and then sign those conditions with the programmable key pairs. By decentralizing public key cryptography and enabling client-side encryption, decryption, and programmatic signing, lit aims to unlock how people interact with blockchain technology. By starting this lesson, we welcome you into the lit ecosystem.